Jamie was driving down a California highway when a Cybertruck suddenly appeared on his left. It looks like the driver of a Porsche wanted to get a better look. A passenger in the Porsche, at least I hope that's the passenger, even pulled out their phone to take a picture. Thankfully, Tesla cams are always rolling, so this other Model Y that pulled up next to it was able to safely capture a whole bunch of images without the driver taking their eyes off the road. Today, we've put together 15 videos captured by Tesla owners who spotted Cybertrucks out in the wild. Emphasis on wild. Tesla is on the verge of releasing the Cybertruck to customers who pre-ordered, but they've been testing them on the road for a while now. Keep watching because we already have our first Cybertruck wham bam moment coming up. Ravi and his family visited the Tesla factory in Fremont, California to test drive a Model X Plaid. While they were headed home, Ravi spotted something huge approaching in his rearview mirror. A Cybertruck sped past them and Ravi made it very clear that absolutely nothing else happened after this. Honestly, we have no idea what he meant by that. Do you? Ravi told us we'll have to wait to find out if he ends up buying a Model X Plaid or a Cybertruck. Let us know which one you'd choose in the comments. Hold up, wait a minute. They're pulling up next to each other at a red light. Are we about to see a drag race? Okay, now I see what he meant when he told us that nothing else happened. Henry was driving his Model 3 in Mountain View, California. He was sitting at a red light and waiting to turn left when he suddenly spotted a Cybertruck. Henry also has an aftermarket dash cam, so he was able to send us this additional angle of the shiny pickup. If you think Henry's truck spotting ended there, think again. The next day, he saw the same Cybertruck parked in downtown Mountain View, so he pulled out his phone and took this video as well. Henry told us both he and his son were very excited to spot the Cybertruck two days in a row. Sarah was driving near Tesla's headquarters when a large truck suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Sarah quickly realized it wasn't just any old truck, it was a camouflaged Cybertruck. She told us it was super cool to see one in the wild and it was very impressive in person. This submitter was heading to a restaurant for dinner when he saw a Cybertruck being transported on a flatbed. He drove near the truck several times to get plenty of footage. The Cybertruck had Texas plates, so it probably came from the Texas Gigafactory. Our submitter's luck didn't end there. Later that same night, he spotted the Cybertruck again, this time driving down the highway. He thinks it was probably headed to the Tesla factory in Fremont. Surely the submitter won't score a hat trick when it comes to Cybertruck sightings, right? Think again. Incredibly, his girlfriend spotted another Cybertruck the next day while she was driving to work in San Jose. If you're wondering how they managed to get that Cybertruck onto a flatbed, Adrian might have captured footage of it getting loaded up earlier that day. It was being loaded onto the flatbed truck on the left shoulder of I-580. Some people posted on X about this incident, speculating that the Cybertruck had been range testing and was driven until it finally ran out of battery power. But the explanation may be as simple as this prototype vehicle breaking down. That wouldn't be surprising, but then again, I'm not a truckologist. Damien was driving to Stanford Mall in Palo Alto, California and had just gotten into a turn lane when he noticed a Cybertruck next to him. Suddenly, the driver began turning the truck's wheels. Wait, are we about to witness the very first wham-bam moment involving a Cybertruck? Is the driver about to do something <gasps> illegal? Bingo! The Cybertruck crossed over the solid line and that makes this moment historic. Max was driving on the interstate in rush hour traffic in San Jose, California when a Cybertruck appeared on his left in his rearview mirror. Max works near the Tesla Fremont factory and a bunch of Tesla engineering buildings, so he's gotten to see a bunch of unwrapped Cybertrucks and Model 3 Highlands being tested. This one had the blue pixelated wrap and he was surprised to see it driving on the highway. Jose was driving in Indio, California when he spotted two Cybertrucks charging. He took the opportunity to film them with his phone. It looks like Jose drives a rather sporty car himself. Can you tell what it is by the side view mirrors? Post your guess in the comments and keep watching to the end to see if you got it right. 
Tim's friend is a California Highway Patrol officer who sent him this message. Get down to the superchargers now. You don't want to miss this. He'd found a Cybertruck plugged in for a 30-minute charging session. While Tim was on his way there, he spotted another one driving down the highway. Tim said that when he arrived at the supercharger, the driver was a great guy, and while he wasn't allowed to tell him anything about the truck, he didn't object to Tim taking all the photos and videos he wanted. By the way, that's Tim's SpaceX-themed Model 3 next to the Cybertruck. Cool! Mugwump was heading home after spending the day furniture shopping with her husband, and let's just say she needed something to lift her spirits after spending the whole day at Ikea. Thankfully, she wasn't disappointed. On their way home, they encountered one of the most majestic views we've ever seen, a trailer hauling four Cybertrucks. Let's cue up the dramatic music to really set the scene. She told us that after that, they picked up pizza and burgers for dinner to celebrate with the kids at home. I'm pretty sure they were celebrating the Cybertruck sighting and not the day spent shopping, but she didn't specify. Jeremy pulled into a Tesla supercharger in Austin, Texas and spotted a Cybertruck charging. The guy in the hat was one of the engineers who was testing them and they were talking with other Tesla owners, answering questions and letting people take pictures. Jeremy recently got hired at Tesla, so shout out to him. Congrats on the new job. Speaking of working for Tesla, Juan drives a truck for them and he was just leaving the Tesla factory after dropping off a loaded trailer in Fremont, California when he encountered a Cybertruck headed toward the factory. Juan told us he nearly broke his neck watching it pass by before continuing on his journey. Juan drives a Freightliner Cascadia, but hopefully he'll be behind the wheel of a Tesla Semi someday soon. Juan sent us one more video. This one isn't related to the Cybertruck, but he was hauling Tesla battery packs and had a collision with a Tesla, so we'll make this one exception. He was headed to the Tesla factory to drop off the load of batteries when a Tesla made contact with his tire, knocking off his wheel cap. Juan told us he couldn't see the Tesla behind his truck's B-pillar. Actually, we can even see exactly when the Tesla first became visible to Juan in his side view mirror. He wanted to know if you think he should have done anything differently. Juan stopped as quickly as he safely could, which wasn't very fast as the Tesla batteries he was hauling are very heavy. He then checked on the two elderly people in the Tesla. They were shaken up, but not hurt. They were also apologetic and admitted that the collision was their fault. They exchanged insurance information before everyone continued on their way. Shrikanth was driving around the Gigafactory with his family when they suddenly noticed a Cybertruck driving around. Okay, spotting a Cybertruck at the factory seems like cheating, but it's still really cool. Toby and his girlfriend were taking a scenic road trip from San Diego towards San Francisco to spend their anniversary in Carmel-by-the-Sea. While on their way to the beach for a romantic sunset picnic, they spotted a Cybertruck stuck in traffic in the opposite lanes. Ironically, Toby had actually told his girlfriend Bibi before the trip that his goal was to spot a Cybertruck. He said they both freaked out when they noticed the dystopian-style truck actually on the road. We didn't forget about Jose's car. Here's your last chance to guess what it is. Ready? Jose drives a Camaro, at least for now. Well, did you get it right? 